Welcome to the More Demand Podcast, where we help you generate more demand for your products and services. Every episode, we give you tips, tricks, and tutorials on how to get the best out of your digital marketing. Less frustration, more demand. Here's your host, Lawrence Howlett, with this week's freshest tips. Hello and welcome to the More Demand podcast episode number 26. This week we are doing something a little bit different and I'm introducing our guest host for today, Lee Jackson from the WP Innovator podcast. It's a podcast for WordPress uh, designers and web agencies. It's a weekly show that interviews agency owners, WordPress developers and entrepreneurs from around the world who have innovated with WordPress in their business. And he's going to teach you today exactly how to generate income from your WordPress website. So obviously, if you don't have WordPress, you can still take some of these tips and apply them to your own website as well. But Lee's going to go into a lot of depth, a lot of technical knowledge as well about WordPress, what plugins to use and how to start earning money from your WordPress website. So Here we go then. I'm going to welcome Lee onto the podcast. He's your guest host for today. So Lee, take it away. Hi, I am Lee Jackson from the WP Innovator podcast, and it's my privilege to be guest host here on the More Demand podcast. So today we're looking at ways of monetizing your website. So let's set the scene. You've got a website, and you're driving traffic to it, but you're looking to generate revenue. So what ways could you do this? Now in this episode, we're gonna unpack some ideas and some strategies for generating income or more income from your website. Now, although we'll be focusing on WordPress driven websites, the tips in this episode can be applied to most content management systems as there's going to likely be similar add-ons available for whatever platform you're on. So, for example, if you're rocking Drupal or Joomla or any other sort of uh, system, there should be a relatively similar plugin available that will do the sorts of things that we're going to talk about and unpack in this episode. Now, if you're on the move, don't worry because we're going to be providing you a full crib sheet. We don't want you driving and trying to write notes. So we're going to list out all of the ideas that we discussed today, along with links to the WordPress plugins, if you use WordPress, so that you can get started. All right, let's get stuck in. Now, what revenue generating opportunities you go for really depend on the type of site that you have and what sort of audience that you attract. So this podcast is primarily focused on those who create content. However, later on in the show, we will be unpacking some exciting ideas that you could market just based on the strength of your brand and that's not going to require you necessarily to be generating lots and lots of content although i will emphasize that content is always super helpful when creating websites or creating monetizing opportunities now then if you're not currently creating content then perhaps it is time to do so Content websites attract a wide range of visitors as they come to consume the epic value that you provide. So a great example of this alone would be Pat Flynn. Now, Pat Flynn runs the Smart Passive Income podcast as well as having a huge website called, you've guessed it, Smart Passive Income. Now, that's going to be in the show notes for you to go and check out. But if we review his monthly income report, it shows that the biggest percentage of his income, and he's rocking something like $170,000 in a month. So as of January 2016, his biggest percentage of income was through the content that he's generating. So again, looking at his January 2016 income report, one blog post, I'll emphasize that as one blog post he has about lead pages is generating him $15,000. That's $15,000 of completely passive income, all from a blog and a webinar replay that he did in, wait for it, September 2013. That's right. 
September 2013. He earned £15,000, sorry, dollars in January 2016 from content that was created in 2013. So I really feel like I should be pausing for effect here. All right. Now, you have already had a subtle clue to one of the methods of re revenue generation. So let's start and unpack it a little bit more. That revenue generation technique is called affiliate revenue. So you may have gathered this method does not necessarily require a WordPress site. This is not necessarily plugin intensive or anything. But what you do need is some sort of valuable content on a website that could be in text format, video format, or audio format that is of high value to the end consumer. What are the main points of pe sorry, what are the main pain points of people in your industry? What problem can you help them solve with an amazing online product? So Platt Flynn, he's in January 2016, he's generated $60,000 as another example from a video guide that would help people set up a blog website in just four minutes. It's only an eight minute video. He put it together in 2009. Let's recap that $60,000 he has earned through affiliate marketing on a video that he created in 2009. Yep, my mind was blown as well as you should be. So I've already mentioned the lead pages blog with the re webinar replay. And if you look through his income reports, you'll see a common theme. He is generating valuable content, offering it for totally free and including an affiliate link to the product or products that will answer that specific need. So the content is geared and then answering the problem and it demonstrates the product or the service that he's going to recommend so that the setting up a blog is all about getting it set up on the Bluehost platform and then he's including the Bluehost affiliate link in there and that's where he's getting his revenue. So how can you replicate this in your industry? So let's think about this. Do you already have a popular post that you could repurpose and add in some sort of affiliate links? Just take a look at your Google Analytics. That's going to help you ascertain what might be a potential target for you right now of content that you may already have. Now, if we were to break it down of what you need to do, then the first thing you want to do if you're going to create some new content is find a problem that your industry has or a popular question that needs answering. So that's going to involve some listening, some research, talking to your customers. And again, you know, taking a look at things like Google Analytics, seeing where people are hitting your website with what sort of questions. Now then, this problem is going to need a solution, okay, where the product in question has an affiliate program. So you're answering the problem with a product, and that product has some form of affiliate uh, program with it. So that will allow you to take a percentage of the income. So if you think about it on the Pat Flynn video, people are signing up for Bluehost, that is a financial transaction between that person and Bluehost. The commission payment is the affiliate payment that's going through to Pat Flynn and his team. Now, don't be tempted to pick just anything or an affiliate program that gives the highest percentage because this really needs to be a real honest recommendation. People are going to be able to tell whether or not you're really passionate about the product or the service that you're recommending. And people also really want to be able to see the sorts of results. So this probably should be something that you are using regularly that you are passionate about. An example for myself would be the Beaver Builder platform. I'm very passionate about what those guys have done over there. And I am always writing valuable information and giving away courses to help people with that platform. So Pat Flynn was recommending the Bluehost from at least 2009. And again, he's been using Bluehosts since before 2009. And he even claims to this very day that he hosts 99% of all of his websites. That's to this day in 2016. So there you go. It's picking a solution that will answer the problem, but it does need to be something that you also really believe in because that's going to come through 
in the way you write, the way you talk about it, the passion, and also the, the ability to display the sorts of results that whatever it is that you're using can provide to your consuming audience. Now then, when you write or you record this informative article, video, podcast, whatever it is, <clears throat> you need to then set out what the problem is, show the answer to that problem, and then demonstrate with the product that you are recommending how it solves that problem and how that person can take hold of the product and get it to do exactly what it is you're talking about show them make it easy to do maybe a video maybe a step-by-step -step guide that they can literally go through and check off so making it super super easy and of course don't forget to load in your affiliate link now there's a few ways of doing this the first one could be quite simply flat out using the link that has been provided to you by the affiliate program however you may find that that might be an ugly link it might be quite a long-winded link with things like a question mark an id number at the end etc so they're not attractive and they're not very easy to remember when you are trying to maybe tell someone the url over a podcast over a video etc so it's always worth to set up some sort of pretty url and there is a plugin for WordPress if you're using WordPress called Pretty Links and that will allow you to create a link to the affiliate program that you have you but you're able to bury that into your domain.com forward slash whatever you want to put there so it could be your domain.com forward slash Bluehost if you are doing an article on Bluehost like Pat Flynn was doing now then, remember, if you don't have time to do that right now, then just take 20 minutes to check out your most popular piece of content or pieces of content. And then if there is a trusted product or service that you can include an affiliate link in there for, then go ahead, grab that link and then hit the edit button on that piece of content or on those pieces of content that's why you have a content management system you can go in and edit old content there's no reason why you shouldn't if you've got an affiliate link that you can load in to a blog post of a related product to that particular subject then go ahead at least go and do that now and then in the future or the near future hopefully set yourself that goal of answering some of those questions and again connecting in with some good affiliate programs of applications online products that or services that you have used and you trust and you really believe will add that massive value to the end user okay so we've covered affiliate marketing it's super exciting it might be something though that does uh, take a little time a bit of a slow burner because obviously you've got to get traction etc people visiting the post and it also depends on the kind of reach and the community that you may already be involved with. But it's definitely something, as the guys like Pat Flynn and others have demonstrated, definitely worth it, you know, investing time and focusing on, on that as one way of generating income to your website. And remember, you don't need to have hundreds of thousands of visits for this. All you need is a particular subject that meets pain points in the target industry that you're targeting and boom you've got something that people are going to go and want to check out they're going to go and learn some free valuable information and more than likely they they're going to sign up for that product and again you're going to get that affiliate payment right let's move on to premium content so this is keeping on the theme of content but let's take a look at popular content on your website if you crack open Google Analytics, you can take a look and see what posts, what pieces of content on your site are getting the most attention. Where are people spending the most time? What topics are the quote unquote hottest? And if you've got a commenting system on your site, then go ahead and check out what subjects are generating the most interaction. So for example, in WordPress, you could just filter all of your posts by comments and see how many comments you're getting on particular posts. What is encouraging the most interaction, the most passion, the most questions, etc. All right. If you have found one or two posts, then perhaps it's time to start to create some premium content.
So you found the subject everybody's crazy over, they're visiting that post, they're commenting on it. Can you unpack that content even further? Can you add gold in there? Can you add extra value to that content? So perhaps the blog post was only 500 to 1,000 words where you covered the basics of a particular subject for the industry. What else can you add that you believe is worth paying for that people would pay a some small amount to access that content now when i say some small amount you may have something that is complete dynamite and you think it's a high value purchase and that's totally fine because remember when you've got a niche audience who really need complex act answers or solutions then people are definitely going to be worth or interested sorry in paying what it takes to get their hands on that solution Okay, now with WordPress, there are a range of plugins available that will enable you to give the first part of your valuable content away for free. So the idea there is is you're giving people a teaser or a taster of what's available. So it could be the first few paragraphs, which then takes you to the big unveil, or however they say that word, with a dot, dot, dot. But to get access to that, People need to get their credit card out and pay you some money to access the rest of that information. The cool thing about this is SEO. So way back when, when digital content was evolving, people were creating online page turners or PDFs and they were putting them behind a paywall that got absolutely zero SEO traction. That's search engine optimization absolutely nothing through the search engines and to be honest page turners pdfs they're not really great fun for the end user they're not they're not compatible with devices they're hard to use and also reading stuff on a screen is not always great technology has moved on so far we've got ipads we've got kindles and we still have the good old trusty printer as well people might just want to be able to print stuff off and have a read through that as well as a physical version so if you've got a responsive website you're giving away the teaser the first few paragraphs of your really valuable content away for free then you're getting the best of both worlds you're getting seo you're getting google seeing that content you're getting people fed into that you're then providing that content behind the username and password after a payment's been taken that people can use on multiple mobile devices that people can copy and paste if they want to put it in Evernote or to grab some stuff and put that in Evernote or again they can just print it so you're giving them some really super accessible content and that content as well is not hidden away from the search engines at least enough of the content is visible to the search engines to get you that traction but also the stuff, the real meat and potatoes, the real gold is hidden behind that payment firewall. So let's have a look at a couple of plugins that are available. The first one is called Pay Per View, and this is by the team over at WPMU. Now, again, this is WordPress. I apologize if you're not on WordPress, but I guarantee you there's probably something out there that will help you out with whatever platform you have. But with WordPress, with the pay-per-view by WPMU, it's quite simple. You simply activate the plugin, you set up the specific payment gateway that you want, and then on the article or the page that you want people to pay to view more, you simply paste in a piece of code at the point that you want the person to be to pay for the further access it's super easy super automated works with wordpress out the box and with the guys over at wpmu you're paying a yearly subscription fee not only to access that plugin but you're getting a whole wide range of plugins that will help you in other areas of monetizing your wordpress website as well now bear in mind if you only want to buy this one plugin i believe they sell that for about 19 dollars and you get the plugin you get to use it you don't have to pay a yearly subscription to their whole package to get all the other plugins but it's certainly worth taking a look at wpmu and seeing what other plugins they have on offer in there as well and we're going to touch on some wpmu plugins again later on in the show 
Now, the other plugin, which is really cool, is called Leaky Paywall, which is quite a cool name. But the idea is, is they have a, a very unique way of doing things. So rather than giving you a teaser of the content, this is going to give you access to pretty much the entire website, Google can spider it as well. But as you're consuming articles, as the visitor is consuming content on your website, there is a ticker. It's counting how much content you're accessing. And when the, you, you hit a certain threshold, boom, that is when you are asked for some sort of payment. It might be a payment to give you credits. It might be a payment to give you a monthly, yearly, or forever subscription to be able to consume the rest of the content on that website. So it's not quite the same as hiding a specific portion. This method gives you the ability to give people kind of free reign of getting access to your website, taking a look through. But again, that meter is ticking away. And the minute they've hit the threshold that you've set, then they are going to have to sign up, subscribe, start to pay money to access the rest of the valuable content that you have. So that might be particularly useful for people who are getting a lot of traffic to the website. There's no one or two particular pain points that people are hitting on. They're actually consuming a lot of content. You've got a low bounce rate. You've got people spending time on your website, consuming the content, using the search functionality, etc. And that's definitely something that you should go ahead and check out. Again, it's the best of both worlds. You're getting revenue generation whilst you're benefiting from SEO and you're giving the end users that clean accessible environment for them to consume your amazing and valuable content. All right, I'll try not to get too excited, but let's just take a short break to talk about content generation. Now, the two mainstream ways of generating revenue that we've just talked about are primarily focused at people generating content. So before we continue to the next range of ideas, I just want to encourage you for those who have generated little or no content on their site with just a bit of help. Now, this is also super effective for those who have been generating lots of content, but feel they're running out of ideas. Now, first of all, let's look at types of content. You don't need to be writing thousand word blogs. You don't have to have a hundred of those on your website because content could also be a short how to video four minutes long, Pat Flynn did, or it could be a 30 minute podcast. It could be a 15 minute podcast as well, or it could be some sort of digital download. Maybe it's a PDF document with with some guides, how to, etc. Okay, how do you generate ideas for content? That's a massive question I'm asked all the time. And to be honest, it's questions, questions, questions. So I find the magic for content creation is in the questions. So what are my clients asking me today? What is the most common question that I'm receiving? What questions are the community asking? So if you're not sure where to find these questions, then just think back to a most recent meeting that you may have had with a client. What sort of questions came up? What are common client questions? Those sorts of things that you think, you know what, I really should make a frequently asked questions of our website. Now, there's also other services as well, like answerthepublic.com. That's answerthepublic.com. We'll get this in the show notes for you. But that's going to show you a range of questions related to specific topics. You pop in the topic, you pop in the question, it's going to give you a whole range of other sorts of questions that you could be looking at and unpacking. Also, it's a really good idea to keep a journal. Keep a journal of what sort of questions are cropping up in meetings, in emails, anything that just, you know, grabs your attention. Get that down in the journal. They are all amazing topics for blogs, for videos, etc. A great place as well is to join Facebook groups. And I don't mean join Facebook groups where your peers in your industry are, but go and join the Facebook groups where your target customer is is where is your audience where are they spending time go join those facebook groups go join those linkedin groups add value answer questions in there because you're going to raise your own profile um, but also grab hold of any questions that you see and perhaps create valuable content short videos short podcasts or short blogs that will help people 
with those questions. Now, when you have that question, the need, the pain point, then you have the idea for the content that you're going to create. Remember, that's video, that's podcasting, or could be simply a short blog. Now, decide on the types of content that you feel you can commit to create. Note down all the key pain points that your the people in your niche have, and then just start to create content. That's just three things to do. Decide, note down pain points, and create some content. Three steps. Okay, let's move on now to generating revenue on your website through the strength of your brand. You don't have to be a content generating um, website. You don't have to be producing consistent content to be generating money. And if you're lucky enough to have a strong brand, perhaps you have that through good social engagement online, or you've got a product that is highly respected in your industry, or you're receiving a lot of traffic as well, again, through the products that you might be selling on your website, and again, that is associated with your brand, then there's a whole range of other ideas that you could apply to your website. So enough about content generation and let's delve into some more strategies for monetizing your site. So the first one would be sponsorship. So sponsorship probably sounds super obvious, but let's unpack it a bit more. Now, if you have a low traffic site, you may struggle to sell sponsorship. So I'll say that from the get go. However, on the other hand, if you are attracting highly targeted visitors in a particular niche, then the value of your audience has a potential for sponsorship the value of that to a potential sponsor would go up as well so if you've established that you have a good volume of eyeballs then consider what sort of businesses would benefit most from exposure to your audience for example if you're selling world cinema dvds and you reach out to a garden hose company for sponsorship well i think you can work out the results of that the value of the audience to the potential sponsor is low they would have to hope that x percent of all world cinema lovers also like gardening and happen to be in the market for a new hose however on the other hand if you review your sales and see what sort of products are the most popular then you could be connecting with potential sponsors and advertisers in that particular area so let's use world cinema again and we have the xyz zombie movie that is the most purchased movie it's the most reviewed on your shop most traffic goes to that so you now know that there is a merchandise company that specializes in selling t-shirts promotional products models of the characters from that zombie movie boom there is a potential sponsor now, the added bonus is if they supply for a wide range of other world cinema fan bases, even better. You've got tons of movies, tons of real estate on your website that you could be offering to that highly targeted sponsor. Now, if you're producing regular video or podcasts, then the exact same ethos applies. Targeted sponsorship is key. So, who is your audience? What are their needs or their wants? And what company would benefit the most from exposure to your audience that your audience will also benefit from so no matter what the download numbers that you have you suddenly have something of greater value than if you think you cannot negotiate sponsorship because you're not the size of google you've actually got super targeted audience with needs you do not need to be the size of google to be generating sponsorship now, another method, which is quite an interesting method, is a membership website. So, the idea of a membership site is a private area on an existing site, or maybe it's a sub-site like a 
portal that contains content, training, or perhaps even online tools that you may have developed that are of high value that people will be willing to pay you a monthly or a yearly subscription for. So again, content is one of those key attractions but it doesn't have to be so you could be a software developer who is creating valuable industry tools you could put those inside of a membership site as well so all of the latest updates could be there available online if they're online tools or maybe the latest updates could be available within that and a community inside that membership site or perhaps you have access to tons and tons of data through the business that you are in and you believe that that access to that up-to-date information, so it could be numbers, whatever it is, statistics, would also be of high value. So yes, content is great, but if you've got access to other sorts of content that is highly valuable, that is worth paying for, then again, you could put that inside of some form of membership site. Now, the idea here is that people are able to pay you a monthly subscription, they get a username and password, and they're accessing this information on demand when they want to, when they need it. Now, there's multiple plugins and services to allow you to do this. You don't have to use WordPress. There are plugins for Drupal and other platforms, and there are also standalone services that you can go ahead and check out. Just have a look on Google, uh, Google Membership website service and boom you'll have tons of options available to you now there is the membership plugin again this will be in the show notes this is for wordpress and it's from the guys at wpmu so i mentioned they've got the pay-per-view this one is the membership plugin and it's pretty feature rich but it is lightweight so it's not going to add too much um, bandwidth or too much footprint to your website. Now, with the membership plugin, you can set up multiple levels and sell in multiple different ways. So, for example, it could be a monthly or a yearly subscription, and you could set one of them up to be free access so people can access a certain amount of areas. You could then set up gold, so on and so forth. They have the inclusion of multiple payment gateways, including the favorites such as PayPal and my favorite Stripe, which is really good for developers like myself. And if you become, remember, if you become a subscriber of WPMU, you, you're going to get their support as well. So you can still buy this for $19, I think, something around that. Um, but if you join up to their service, you're going to get the full impact of all of the other plugins that they have on offer. Now there are other membership plugins for WordPress, um, these S2 membership, etc. But none of them have performed for myself and my own clients as well as the membership plugin from WPMU. But do check them out. Do shop around because you may have specific needs for your industry, for your niche that you need serving with perhaps a more advanced membership system or something that's more simplified as well. So go ahead and check out. Now, the idea is you've got something of value like the pay-per-view except it's an area that you're consistently updating with fresh content once a month. So you're giving people a reason to return. High value content, reason to return, monthly or yearly subscription. It's a great way of generating revenue and receiving those sorts of micro payments from customers, which could lead to bigger and better things in the future. Now, another form of membership site and this is an, another idea for you here is creating a social media network but a private one so social media is huge and that in itself is an understatement we're all connected in all corners of the globe and i personally have developed friendships relationships with people as far away as australia and the usa so we're all connected six degrees of separation i think that's history now i'm pretty sure it's one or two degrees but you can also harness the power of social media for your business and you can convert your traffic your visitors your customers into a loyal super targeted community of peers so that's a social network that you own rather than facebook or twitter 
This is a social media network that is based on your website. So again, let's look at WordPress. And there is a platform called BuddyPress, which includes things similar to your activity wall from Facebook. People can add each other as friends. People can generate groups. And there is a huge amount of support out there and a huge amount of extra add-ons that will add all sorts of features to your social media network. So why should Facebook own your data? when you could run your own social media network on your WordPress website. So go ahead and check out BuddyPress. The idea here is if you are unable to regularly generate content that you people you, you believe people will want to continue to pay for access for, then having this sort of social network means you're charging people access for the networking opportunities that the social media network you have developed or uh, you know have activated brings to them so it's an online space a private online space that is safe it's for people uh, to communicate to ask questions to help each other out to share information very similar to things like facebook groups etc but again something on your website that you control and you can build that database up you can continue as well to market to those people as well and offer all sorts of upsells so this the beauty of this is that that content that's being generated inside of this private social media network it's all user generated content so people are going to be coming back sharing, taking a look at things people have shared, discussing them, etc. And it's all within a paid area that you've provided to your audience. And you can use the membership plugin, <clears throat> excuse me, and other plugins as well for WordPress that will integrate with BuddyPress to restrict certain levels. So you can perhaps give some people specific free access, but then limit other areas. For example, you could block messaging and only allow people who are paid members to be able to mes message each other, etc. A bit like the way LinkedIn would do so. LinkedIn give you so much access and then you need to pay for a service for in-mail to send messages to people, etc. So this is, a, again, a really good idea for user-generated content, a social media network on your own website. All right, this next idea is gold. <laughs> they're all gold to be honest but this is mind-blowing people uh, I, I see jaws drop when when uh when i talk about this with people and i know i've set myself up big now but this is pretty cool and if you can get hold of this idea i think you're going to be really excited by it too you have the ability to offer an amazing software as a service website system to your clients so let's think about this you have got a maybe a product or a service or you're a consultant and you have an audience in a particular niche okay you could be offering them the ability to build their website on your platform how well let's look at wordpress again and wordpress has a system called wordpress multi-site the idea there is this is one installation on one hosting account with a domain, so it could be your domain.com. But then you've got the ability to give other people their own website on that same installation. So their website would be their name dot your domain dot com. Or it could be your domain dot com forward slash their name. Now this might all sound technical straight away, but to be honest, WordPress multi-site is super easy to install. With WordPress, there are a plethora of low-cost, really attractive themes that you could install on this WordPress multi-site to give your users options. And then there's a range of really cool plugins that you can utilize to automate the setup of each person's website to take the credit card payments and to give them that sort of power and control. So first of all, what you're gonna to wanna to do is create a WordPress multi-site site that includes a, perhaps a couple of plugins that are gonna be useful to your industry. Let's take a look at John Lee Dumas. He's created the podcast websites system. So that is a WordPress multi-site setup with a choice of a few themes that people can use, but then baked in, he has activated 
several plugins which are of high value to podcasters, which includes things like the Simple Podcast Press. So think about your audience. What sort of website would they want to build? Then you can charge a monthly fee for this. This could be something as low as $25 or whatever pounds, wherever you're from, um, a, a month uh, to something really high, like maybe 100, 200, et cetera, per month, depending on what sort of things you're putting into the website, you're going to offer these people. Uh, and also based on the value that it has, obviously, to the end user. So once you've put all these together, you can then activate another plugin from WPMU, which is called Pro Sites. And this will allow people to sign up on your website to receive their own site at your domain and then enter in their credit card details and their site is instantly activated. There's another plugin as well from WPMU that will allow you to automatically populate that site with pre-done content so that will help the user get started they just need to replace the example content that you've got and they could be live within minutes and there's also another cool plugin which will allow you to give them the ability to have their domain on that website as well so their website will perform to anyone including google as a fully bona fide self-hosted website on their own domain whilst they're using your service. Now, I could unpack this more, but it could get technical. So what we're going to do is we're going to include a brief overview in the download crib sheet as well as the plugins that you could go ahead and check out. So remember, you do have the ability with little to no programming experience to be able to set up some form of valuable website building service through the strength of your brand or perhaps the strength of the content that you've been creating that people can use to build a site in your niche, your industry. So I told you it's gold. This is a, such an exciting service and it really makes the ability of running something like Wix but for your industry, a reality. You could be running the squared space for your industry. Just to wrap this up, there is the visual there are multiple visual tools as well available. Again, we'll put those in the, the notes that you could be installing. So that just gives that extra kind of Squarespace esque or Wix feeling of flexibility to your end users. So not only are they maybe filling in a few pages, but you could also give them those visual builders. And again, all it has been is an exercise in you installing WordPress, installing a few plugins, configuring the core WPMU setup, and you have um, a valuable resource, a pay-for software-as-a-service solution that is either based on your website or just based on a subdomain of your site that you could then start to market through your site. So I told you it's gold, it's exciting. Go ahead, uh, check out moredemand.co.uk and download the crib sheet that has all the information on that idea. Now, of course, there are tons of other ways that you could be generating content on your website. There's just not enough time to cover them all here, but I'm sure we're going to revisit this subject in the near future. Remember, if you don't have WordPress, then take a look at your CMS and see what plugins are available that might allow you to carry out some of the ideas that are in this podcast. And again, don't forget to download the crib sheet from, from this episode from moredemand.co.uk. You'll see the show notes on the site and you can download the crib sheet there as well, moredemand.co.uk. Just hit podcast in the menu. And whilst you're there, be sure to check out some of the other amazing episodes. My favorite, most recently being Lawrence's interview with the podcasting legend himself, John Lee Dumas. Guys, thank you so much for listening. Thanks for having me on your podcast. It's truly been an honor. Have an awesome day. Thanks for listening to the More Demand podcast. Make sure to hit that subscribe button on iTunes and get the latest episode direct to your device every Wednesday.